Okay. All righty, everybody. You want to get in and tell you about that little bright orange pull cord right above your head there? That's for medical emergencies only. If that cord were pulled, EMTs will be dispatched and the tram be on hold for a long, long time. So let's not use that cord unless we have a real medical emergency. Well, howdy, everybody. Okay, let's try this. Merry Christmas! All right, much gooder. This is your conductor, Rick, on the back of the train. I'd like to be the first to welcome you all aboard the Frisco Sing Along Steam Train. As we leave the depot, I do want to caution everybody to keep your arms and legs inside the train throughout the entire trip. This is for your safety. Now, if you look over here to your left, you see our newest winter warner land for all the youngins. We call it Half Dollar Holler. They got a traditional carousel ride there, a little swing ride, and some climbing towers and nets. Right next door to that, you can see Bear Holler. Well, you can customize and build your own stuffed animal there for Christmas. Right up the street from that is Becca's Weedy. She's got some beautiful handcrafted items I think you ladies will enjoy. Now, as I mentioned before, folks, this here is a sing-along steam train, so I need everybody to help me out and sing along. We're going to start with a holly jolly Christmas. Everybody sing! All righty, folks, we did have to make a little quick pause there. We are running two trains tonight, and this is where the engineers visually see each other. You know, we sure hope that you folks are enjoying your day with us today. And here at Silver Dollar City, we kind of take our Christmas pretty seriously. We started putting up our Christmas lights towards the end of July. But when it was all over with, said and done, when we opened up for our Christmas festival, we had put up over 4 million lights. Well, that equates to about 300 miles of Christmas lights. Well, I don't know what about you think about this, but it's starting to look a lot like Christmas around here. And that can only mean one thing, kids. It must mean that Santa Claus is coming to town. Come on now, everybody knows this one. Well, we certainly hope that you all have been good boys and girls this year. Now, we're going to be going to having a special presentation for you here in just a few minutes. Now, for the courtesy of those folks around you, if you're wearing a cell phone or a pager, we'd like to request that you please put it on silence or vibrate. Thank you. You know, folks, I guess Christmas means a lot of different things to a lot of different folks, but I know for me and my family, it meant that we were all loading up and going to Grandma and Grandpa's house for Christmas. Well, now, what kind of wonderful story, folks? I just, I just love to tell that story. But right now, let me 
need to get some wood back up to the fireplace before it goes out. It's going to get mighty chilly tonight. You kids need to get back to town before you miss something. I'm just glad you kids got to come home for Christmas. I just hope everybody can. Merry Christmas, kids. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas Grandpa. Merry Christmas. And thank you for your wonderful gift. Merry Christmas, kids. Merry Christmas, folks. Merry Christmas, folks. Bye-bye, young man. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas, behind the woods. Merry Christmas, kids. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Slipping on the track. Is that bad? Not necessarily. Look over here. see some really nice folks standing there by the tracks. So as we go by, let's show them our Christmas spirit. Everybody wave and say Merry Christmas as we go by, okay? Now you folks back here on the blue car, we're going to end with something just a little different, okay? Alright, now everybody get ready. Alright, here we go. Ready or not? Car number one, everybody wave and say Merry Christmas! Car two, wave and say Merry Christmas! Car three, Merry Christmas! All right, car four, everybody wave and go, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> All right, good job. Now, folks, as we approach the train depot, I do have one final request. I need to ask y'all to remain seated on train until I tell you it's safe to get off. Now, make sure you're not leaving those precious Christmas gifts behind to blow underneath the Christmas tree. And we also ask that you please remove any trash that you might have brought on board with you. That way, the folks at the depot will have a nice clean train to ride, too. Folks, on behalf of the engineer and myself and the crew here at the Single Long Steam Train, I want to wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas. Now everybody please, please wait.